गाय को हिंदू धर्म का प्रतीक बनाकर केवल हिंदुत्व की राजनीति का परचम लहराने का माध्यम बन गई है और इसके नाम पर मुस्लिम की हत्या की जा रही है इन गौरक्षकों को दूर से ही नजर आ जाता है कि कोई मुसलमान गायों की तस्करी कर रहा है और फिर तुरंत भीड़ इकट्ठा हो जाती है ताकि इंसाफ कर सके Ever since Narendra Modi became prime minister efforts are on to demolish secularism and make India a Hindu rashtra a Hindu nation For 7 decades India has been held together by its constitution which promises equality and justice to all But with Narendra Modi in the picture there's been widespread persecution of Muslims Dalits Christians as well as Sikhs Narendra Modi's BJP party is remaking the nation into one where some people count as more Indian than others he wants to create a Hindu rashtra The Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh known as RSS a radical Hindutva outfit which provides support to the current prime minister Narendra Modi was established in 1935 and after 3 years it will complete 100 years some believe that India will be completely transformed into a Hindu rashtra by 2025 but how plausible is all this and can a Hindu rashtra work in practice My dear friends, a nation can be secular. It can be a Hindu nation, it can be based on Islamic principles, and it's the laws which define the condition and nature of any country. Today India is governed according to a constitution which was adopted since its independence and some criminal laws which were established during the 19th century thanks to Britain. Among them is the Indian Penal Code which came into force in 1860 and is largely the same throughout South Asia. To understand what would change by being a Hindu rashtra, it's necessary to know what a Hindu rashtra actually means. It's important to let you know that there's never actually actually been a hindu rashtra so it's actually very difficult to define what it is but i think a hindu rashtra could be defined by the interpretations of hindu texts and the formation of government and laws would be based on those texts but the problem with that is an ethnic system in law isn't possible because it will not only harm non-hindus but also a very large number of hindus who don't belong to the top castes This is the reason why Nepal is still an incomplete Hindu nation. The executive authority of the state or government in Nepalese kingdom flowed from a Kshatriya king. A Kshatriya belongs to the warrior ruler caste as laid down in the Manusmriti. The Manusmriti also known as the Manava Dharma Shastra or Laws of Manu is believed to be the first ancient legal text and constitution among the many Dharma Shastras of Hinduism. पुकारिता पुकारिती मां भारती देश है पुकारिता पुकारिती मां भारती उठो जवानो देश की वसुंधरा पुकारिती देश है पुकारिता पुकारिती मां भारती पुकारती 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 मां भारती खून से तिलक लगाओ गोलियों से आरती दाल बाटी चूरमा हम भारत के सूरमा भारत माता की जय भारत माता की जय गौ माता की जय गौ माता की जय Today we are certainly seeing the birth pangs of some sort of Hindu rashtra forming. We've seen things like namaz policy where Muslims aren't allowed to pray outside, the hijab policy where Muslim women have been forced to take it off, beef policy where Muslim beef eaters have been lynched, bulldozer politics where Muslim houses and businesses have been destroyed. So you see folks, India is heading towards that direction. You might think India has already become a Hindu rashtra. Can it go any further? 
because Hindus are free from existing constitution and laws to the extent that non-Hindus can be legally discriminated against and Narendra Modi can still show a pluralistic, democratic and secular country just like the apartheid state does. But I think Narendra Modi will go further. He's a religious zealot, a radical after all, because he can announce a Hindu Rashtra and this will give his supporters a sense of pride and they will get an opportunity to humiliate Muslims and Christians that now have no rights at all in India. Question is, will Muslims, Christians, Dalits and Sikhs accept this Hindu Rashtra? We can't be certain, but that's a risk Modi will definitely have to take. Whatever the Indians decide, the world will have its eyes on it. The times of religious nations is over and in the 21st century no country has come into existence. Not even Israel which claims to be the only Jewish democracy in the Middle East. Israelis don't even follow the laws of Torah, neither the Talmud, so it can't really be called a Jewish nation. In conclusion, I'm not sure if India would declare itself as a Hindu Rashtra. There's no real definition of what that means, what it looks like in practice. Also, the risks are far too many and it will not only just hurt the minorities but also a very large amount of Hindus themselves.